Well, hello. I want to talk to you today about a fairly cheap pen. In fact, I bought this one for three dollars. Kind of the same thing over here. I bought for about 85 cents each. We're talking ballpoint range there. Cheaper than some ballpoints. This is a cheap pen. Now, in the in the close-up. If you're into the Parker world at all, and I'm not a big Parker fan, but uh, I, you know, I do like the Parker pen clip. Parker has an, a very distinctive pocket clip. It's an arrow. This has an arrow as a pocket clip. In fact, I got curious enough because my father owns a Parker 51 that I was set in his drawer since I was born. But anyway, he has a Parker 51. This looks an awful lot like that Parker 51 he owns. In fact, I, you know, the Parker 51 is a lot heavier pen, and it's gray instead of this color, but the same kind of cap, same appearance. I think mechanically they're a little different. His Parker 51, by the way, also has an aerometric converter. It's just on the outside there's a little uh, handle you pull down to operate it instead of having to unscrew it. And I suspect this doesn't have the ink collector and all the fancy stuff that a Parker 51 has. But, so similar. Now one thing I like, that this did better than the Parker 51. Parker 51, it's kind of hard to tell what your ink level is. On this pen, right here, uh, Parker 51 and this both have two trim rings. The difference is, this one is clear between the trim rings, so I have a very small but usable ink window. Uh, this is also a hooded nib, which means this pen does not dry out. Uh, surprisingly smooth writer for such a cheap pen. In fact, surprisingly smooth writer by any standards. I've been very impressed with this. So I think I'll be looking at more Hero pens. Now, I will not be keeping any of these 85 cent ones. Uh, so let's talk size from it. Very lightweight pen, even the one with the heavy converter. As far as length, it's just a tiny bit, maybe an eighth of an inch shorter than the Conrad post or capped, uncapped. It is probably a quarter inch shorter than the Conrad. And then posted, it is probably half an inch shorter than the Conrad. And that does add some back weighting to it, so if that's a problem for you, you know, worth thinking about. Uh, would I buy this pen again? Eh, you know, it's, it's kind of neat to have because it's a little different from my other pens. But it's really nothing special. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give this one away. But if something ever happens to it, it's not going to break my heart and I'm not going to buy a new one. But that said, I am going to take a look at some of Hero's other offerings because I was just impressed enough by it. So, I hope that was interesting and I will see you later. I'm going to do my writing sample with the Hero 616. I have Noodler's Burgundy ink in this pen. Um, and as you can see right away, there is absolutely no line variation to this pen. You know, it's a hooded nib, so I guess it's not like I expected lots of line variation. That was my fault, by the way, that it didn't write there. I had it at an off angle. So there's not hardly any line variation, but you know what? If you're buying this pen, you're probably not interested in line variation. Uh, it's a cheap pen, 85 cents or whatever it is. And... Now, it does write very smoothly. Uh, it's a very lightweight pen. I will concede that. <clears throat> but smooth writing, a reliable flow. I have not actually written with this pen in about five days. And uh, you saw it stirred it up right away there. Uh, I wrote this first little bit here when, uh, well, last weekend when I decided I was going to switch to using an APIC notebook for these writing samples. So, Maybe six days, actually, because it was Sunday I decided to make this change. So, I, you know, that that's very impressive. One thing I don't like, if you look at my hands, I don't know if that's going to come in focus or not, but they're covered with burgundy ink because it's, this pen seems to have dripped into its cap over the week I didn't use it. So that's interesting and uh, not that impressive. But anyway, let's do our writing sample. So you might be asking, with this quote here, where does this particular pen fall? Okay, I'll concede, I guess we're not going to lay a clip up. I will concede useful because kind of need a pen every so often. Uh, price is decent. It looks okay. 
Um, I wouldn't call it beautiful, and I have other pens I like better. So the fate of this pen, honestly, is that I'm going to be giving it away. And 85 cents, I guess I could throw it away and I wouldn't feel guilty about it. But I'll be giving it away to somebody. So it writes well, I just like other pens better. Would I buy it again? Eh, only if I wanted some cheap pens to give away. I wouldn't be buying it again for myself. So that said, it is a reliable writer and impressive because it didn't dry out during that whole week where I didn't use it. I am a little disappointed about the dripping I found in the cap, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm not sure about the longevity of the cheaper converters, but, uh, you know, at 85 cents, I suppose you don't really care. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.